Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be looking at something very small and very dinky. And this is a Minox camera. Nice little wrist strap on it. And quite a nice leather, I suppose it's leather case. Take it out so you can get a better look at it. Yeah. It comes off, you just wander around with it. And this is the Minox 35 GL. Minox are known for their uh, spy cameras. They're very small 16mm cameras like you see in the Bond films, etc. Um, but this is a full frame camera. In today's parlance, that means it's a 35mm Full frame camera, 24 millimeters by 35 millimeters. In case you could do with the clean. So that's the size of my hand. That's the size of the camera. It's absolutely tiny, but yeah, it's a full frame camera. Mm. Hold the front down, and out pops the lens. It's, uh, it's kind of like a folder, but there's no bellows on it. Made of plastic, but this was made from mid 70s to early 90s. Each of the models has a different coloured shutter button, so an orange shutter button tells you that it's a GL. On the bottom here, we have a way of opening the back, and we have an ASA come ISO dial, we have a tripod bush, and we have the rewind button. On the front, we have the battery compartment. This ran on an old Mercury cell, this particular camera, because this dates from the 70s, I do believe. Um, mercury cells are now illegal. Originally it was 5.6 volts, but I've put four um, wean cells in there, um, which will give me near enough the same voltage. But you could use four LR44s or SR44s, would be my recommendation. Just wrap them in a bit of... Uh, masking tape just to hold them together. I haven't bothered with this, I'll just put the four cells in. I'm not that particularly um, concerned about it, they're not going to move anywhere. And take a reading with a known good light meter and if it's not agreeing with what that's saying you can just adjust the ASA on the bottom so it matches. Very simple to get around that one. Obviously a viewfinder at the top. You've got this fold out flat. And then the top of the lens, which is where all the action goes on. Um, we have here an aperture ring, very, very small, ideal for people with small hands. So the aperture goes from 2.8 down to f16. And we have a focusing scale. This is a zone focusing camera, there's no range finder in it. So this is marked in feet. And fortunately it's got a depth of field scale on it, so... For example, if we put infinity at f16, then everything from about 5 feet through to infinity at f16 will be in focus. We set this to 10 feet. So quite nice. And it is an aperture priority camera, so you set the aperture and the camera will decide the, um, the shutter speed. I don't know whether they are preset shutter speeds or whether it is completely variable, should I look that up really? On the top we have a frame counter, and this is a double wind to advance. So not a single wind, and then the shutter. I don't expect you heard that. Very, very quiet. On the top we have a Double exposure button, so you could use this in a backlight situation, for example. Or if you wanted to shoot negative film and give it two tops over exposure, you just flick this button forward. There's also a battery test button here. I'll put it up to my eye. It's just reading way between 125th and 500, so the battery is fine. Anything below a 30th, and uh, you need new batteries. Underneath this cover, I do believe we have a hot shoe. Yep, there's a hot shoe. I think the flash sink on this is about 150th, if I remember right. Rewind crank, in the usual fashion. Da -de -da. It doesn't pull up. 
that's about it. And there's not a lot to it. It's a very, very simple camera, very quiet, very discreet, very easy to use. Turns on when you lower the cover, turns off when you close it. And that is about it. So this particular camera, we're going to load it with some film. These lenses, these colour and minor tars are supposed to be really, really sharp. It's a 35 2.8, so that's 35 millimetres, which is a nice focal length. So let's take the back off and uh, show you the gubbins inside. So to open the back, you move this catch over so the red dot is exposed and the whole back comes off like so. There's the pressure plate and there's a lot of dust. You can see it's just made out of plastic. There is the workings of the camera, so there's our take-up spool. And there is the shutter, and another the drawbridge. See the lens slides out, and there it goes. That is F16. I changed the... Uh, sorry, this video is really jittery because it's really close up, isn't it? It's so small. This is it wide open. That's double one, silly me. And this is where your film goes onto here. And this is obviously the, uh, IS, the ISO and ASA button. That's where your spool goes in. So, close that up. Here's one of these test films that I rolled. HP5. Old HP5, so that two times button will come in handy. And it's not a lot bigger than the film cartridge, so we just pull this across. And on this side here, we will see it has a tooth and a bit that it feeds into. So we'll just feed that in behind there, making sure it sort of lines up with that sprocket. And there we go. And that works hard because it's closed. It's starting to go, very easy to load. And you slide the back on. There's the back slid on. Close the back. We look at the uh, the ISO dials. I said this film is quite out of date, so I'm gonna leave it at 400 and use the two times button. But I'm gonna knock it down to 200. There we go, 200. Uh, the back is shut. The frame counter should have reset, which it has. That's ready for our first shot. And as always, I will. Rewind that so that it turns when I, when I advance the film. So there we have it, the Minox 35 GT. Very simple camera, but apparently really good quality. So uh, we'll see what the results are like. Uh, it should be light tight. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. The ultimate sort of uh, street photography camera, I think. It's, uh, people wouldn't know what it is, you know, it's just so small, smaller than my phone. And I say to use it, you just pop this down, zone focused, fire the shutter, so yeah, and then as soon as you've taken your picture, you can just do that, and in your pocket it goes. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I uh, hope to see you in the next one.